Rico Ramos. He takes on the veteran journeyman, Cecilio Santos, junior featherweight test for the young emerging pro against the former title challenger. Cecilio Santos, 31 years old, 24 wins, 12 losses, three draws. Four times he fought for belts, but more recently he has struggled. He's been knocked out three times in his last five fights. And there is Rico Ramos. Very good amateur, now 14-0 as a pro, 22 years old. He's from L.A. And the bioblast on Ramos, well, he won numerous national tournaments, including the National PAL Championship in 06, won the National JOs in 02. He's coming off his first televised fight, and he impressed. A unanimous decision over Alejandro Perez. And he's fighting with a heavy heart. Rico dedicating this fight to Darius Watson, his former cornerman who passed away at 38 years old just six weeks ago. <laughs> Time to see how the fighters will keep their edge. Brought to you by Just For Men, Mustache and Beard. Keep your edge. Well, for Ramos, I know you're quick. like to box. But just go land the left hook to the body and go home. For Santos, he's too fast and young, I believe. Try to catch him on his way in. If not, it might be a short night for you. Good evening, Jim Lennon, and welcome to the Chamber Resort Big Casino here in Tonight. Jimmy Lennon Jr. with the official introductions. Sanctioned by the NABO supervisor Mark Reels. Introducing our judges, scoring from ringside Jose Cobian, Fritz Werner, and Ray Corona, and our referee in charge, David Mendoza. All right, fans, here we go. Eight rounds of boxing for the NABO Youth Junior Featherweight Championship. Introducing to you first the challenger on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with silver trim. He weighed in at 122 and one quarter pounds. His record, 24 wins, 12 losses, and three draws, with 14 wins coming by way of knockout from Mexico City, Distrito Federal, Mexico. Introducing Cecilio Boga Santos. His opponent across the ring is the defending champion on my left, fighting at the blue corner. Wearing white trunks with red trim, he weighed in at 123 and one half pounds. Undefeated in his campaign, his record stands at 14 wins, no losses, eight wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the NABO Youth Champion from Los Angeles, California, introducing Suavecito Rico. And referee in charge now to give instructions, David Mendoza. All right, gentlemen, going over the rules and the fouls. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Touch gloves, back to your corner. So, Rico Ramos. Talked to him yesterday, Teddy. Very confident young man. Predicted a first round knockout here tonight wants to shine on his Friday night fight debut. Well, he's got the right opponent, he thinks at least. And Santos, nine years older than him. And as you touched on before, Santos has been knocked out in three of his last four fights. Very tough spot for Santos to be competitive right here. Santos has been knocked out to the body several times, Joe. Ramos can go to the body pretty good. You know, a punch is like an airplane. So you're going to say, what? Doesn't have wings. How so? But, well, it needs a place to land. And Santos, as I just said, he's been knocked out to the body. He gives you a runway to come down on with his body. Been knocked out there several times. So the airplane is the left hook of Ramos. The runway, that right side of the body of Santos. Go land it. Hand speed early on of Rico. Santos... He's been cut several times. He's got scar tissue above those eyes, so I wouldn't be surprised. And there goes that left hook to the body. Look for Ramos. Touch him upstairs a little bit with that left hand. And then go downstairs. 
Now he's landed two left hands to the body early on here in this fight. It was a left hook upstairs that started that little offensive surge by Rico Ramos. Look, Santos is experienced. He's fought for a world title three times. At bantamweight and junior bantamweight. That's another problem for Santos. Much smaller. Turn pro 113. He's fought most of his career between 113 and 115. Ramos never below 120. Ramos 123 and a half tonight. So Ramos, besides younger, faster, he's stronger too. Santos has gone swimming in all those alphabet organization murky waters mm -hmm. all of them he's fought for the wbc the wba and the ibf title most recently was september of 08 lost a technical decision to anselmo moreno he was cut on the forehead lost every round on the scorecards first time he fought for a belt was back in september 04 against Vera Paul Sahapram. Well, right now, decision for the bantamweight champ. Ramos looking for the counterpunch. And he's been able to do whatever he wanted in a short round here, short time so far here. He's gone to the body, he's gone to the head. He could press a little bit. And then when he wants, again, he could pull it back a little bit and see if he can get Santos to walk into something. No contest with the hand speed so far. No, Ramos a huge advantage in hand speed. Able to place that left hand well early on here. Coming to the end of round number one. Told you one of Dan Rayfield's prospects to watch here in 2010, Rico. Ramos, end of round one. Joe and Teddy with you here in Temecula, California. Been here many times, seen many good fights through the years. Don't know what we're in store for, though, in this main event, Teddy. Martina Norio has been to the top before, but the one time he had a big chance, big blemish in his career, a first-round knockout loss when he fought for a belt. Yeah, that's true, but you know what? I'm going to throw away that first-round knockout. He's the more experienced guy. He's been in there with the much better opposition. You just touched on it. And he's shown that he could compete for the most part, except for that one one round blowout in the IBF title fight. He has been competitive with the better competition. And his opponent, this man, Hilario, the undefeated fighter, has not shown he can be competitive with that level yet. He's going to get a chance tonight to show it. And what you're going to see with Hilario, I think you're going to like. He's a guy who covers up, no nonsense, comes forward, very aggressive, doesn't use his jab all the time, but meaningful punches gets right to you and again he's going to be tested a little bit with honorio because honorio has the ability